Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today, if you have been watching any of my videos this week, you know that I am doing an Ace Beauté week. So I am using all my four palettes I have from Ace Beauté, do a look with them and just play with older palettes. And the last palette that I am going to use today is Scarlet Dusk. It is pinkish, orangey palette. I really like this in my first impression. And I have used some of the shades in another look. But I haven't used only this more than once, I think. But I really do like the colors that I've tried. I have mostly been down here, so today I'm thinking about being up here. So I think we just get started. So I haven't been swatching or anything with this palette. I think I want to do an orange but a little bit darker look. So I'm thinking actually of starting with Sunset Rose in my crease. I will see how that look and maybe I will go in with Grimson, this orange. Maybe, maybe not. So, start with the Sunset Rose. And this was a palette that I didn't thought I was going to like that much because this isn't my typical colors. Okay, oranges, but not pink. But I bought this and the Vintage Dawn at the same time when they came to Beauty Bay. And I was so stoked to use the Vintage Dawn. But I actually kind of like this more. I don't know what it is about it. I have no idea. Okay, do you know what I want to do that I should have thought about in the beginning? I want to take this Grimson in my inner crease. So I will take a little brush for that and I think that I will be able to do that. So I just go in here and I go like on to the other shade as well. These two blend together. <laughs> These two blend together so good. It is almost like I didn't need to blend at all. And I love this little brush. This is from Kaleidos. It's the S5. And it's just so good to come into the crease like the inner crease and it's a little bit stiff but not too stiff and it's not like too loose or flimsy so you can be like precise but at the same time you can blend really good I'm just going over with the brush that I took the other shade so it's now I don't know because I want to have hibiscus this one on my lid but I don't know what more. If I want to take shade or nocturn nocturnal. Maybe I will take shade. Deepen it down with nocturnal. And take hibiscus in here. So I do a half cut crease. And now again. Or should I do something else. So I will start with. This shade. Maybe this is like only brown. Maybe it has a little bit of orange to it like a little bit red to it it's a little bit more like orange than I think it looks in the pan and like I have a mirror here in front down here in front of me but when I'm holding a palette with a mirror I'm like want to look in that mirror but I see like you can see it in the view you can see it in the viewfinder. I can see it in the viewfinder. And it's a noise me a little bit, so. I don't know why I don't use the mirror in front of me. I think I like where this is going. 
I think this is my favorite pinkish palette I have. I don't have that many pinkish palettes, if I'm going to be honest, but I think this is my favorite pinkish palette. So for the rest of my lid, I will go in with Hibiscus, this one, and hope that it will look good, and I hope that this shimmer is good. The other shimmers in this that I've tried was amazing. Take it in on my brush and putting it on my eye. Maybe this is a little bit harder pressed. I've said this in other videos this week that Ace Beauty is like, they kind of like melt when it comes to their formula. In the palette, some shades can be super amazing and then you take another shade and it's like what is this I haven't got like any problems with a matte shade but some of the shimmers like this one a little bit hard to work in And I don't know if like they do palettes, they do maybe shimmer shade and then like forget how they did it so they can't like do it again so the next shimmer shade is going to be bad and then the next after that is going to be good. I have no idea but something is a little bit strange. Because I used, I think it was Aurora and Maui in my first impression, and they were so, so good. And this is like workable, but I have to go in over and over again, and it feels like I shouldn't use a glitter glue. A glitter primer. I always say glitter glue. But the next one that I'm using is actually glitter primer. So I just go in with the shade that I have on my outer lid. Just to get a little bit of a better blend. And I, <laughs> questioning myself a little bit with the orange I had in here. I don't know if that is so good anymore. I'm going in with a little bit of shimmer here. This might be a look that needs like a whole base, but it looks a little bit strange up here, doesn't it? So okay, I want a little bit more action. So I'm going to take Nocturnal, this one, in my outer V. I remember like when I started to get into makeup and Everybody was talking about like the outer V and I looked at tutorials and like I couldn't get it to work I still don't know if I can get it to work but Now I really don't care that much I think a problem with like many makeup tutorials is or like a couple of years ago, they were really like for one eye shape and one eye shape only. But now there are so many different creators on this platform that has different eyes. So I think like it's an eye shape for everybody out there where you can learn and makeup is just like it's something fun to do, but a crazy amount of fallouts. So I will take away the fallouts. I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back and we do the under eyes. I hope that this like orange in here will look better with my whole face on. Cannot promise anything, but I really hope. It feels better and my hair is getting kind of long. I think I will go in with 
Sunset Rose, this one on my lower lash and maybe only that one. We will see, I will tap it off and just smudge it. I will take Aruba, this light shimmer and put it in my inner corner. Beep, 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 beep. And that's all for eye look. I will take something orange in my watch line, try to find a little bit of this, put on my mascara, and then we are finished with the last look in my Ace Boot Eye Week. For my watch line, I used Shebang from NYX, almost said Cow Pop. And on my lips that I'm not super sure about, I used a lipstick from Lethal in Quest and a lip gloss or Shine Lip Liquid, but it is a lip gloss from the Body Shop in Orange Lollipop. I should have taken a red lipstick. But yeah, this looks not good. But yeah. This is my finished look with Scarlet Dusk. The shimmers I used really, really good. The only shade that I'm not super happy about is Hibiscus. I should have used a glitter primer for it, but like the little I used Aruba. Amazing. So I think overall this palette is really good. So the three sh other shimmers, except from hibiscus is good shimmers they are creamy easy to work with and i'm okay with that and yeah this is the finished look i like it i think though i like to do more pinkish look with this one but i'm happy with this the lipstick mm, maybe not that much but it is what it is so yeah that is all for my Ace Beauty Week. I am thinking that I maybe should do a palette bingo and take one shade from each of the palettes. I haven't decided yet. It might happen. It might not happen this week, but it might happen next week. We will just have to wait to see. I'm trying to go with the flow when it comes to my makeup channel right now. So we will see. But yeah, I really hope you liked this week. I thought it was fun to play with my Ace <laughs> palettes more. I think all of these are still available. The only thing is like in Europe, Beauty Bay, they don't have Ace Beauty anymore. I don't know why. I don't know if anything happened when UK isn't a part of EU anymore. I don't know if it is about that. I have no idea at all. But I think it's a little bit sad. I can still shop from Ace Bute's US website, but taxes, shipping, and everything is pretty expensive. I think maybe Boosie Shop from Netherlands? I think they've had. I'm not sure. I really hope you liked this week. It has been a fun. I think I might want to do more theme weeks, like kind of often, but we will just have to wait and see. But I think the next week I will do will be a shroud week. So it might come one more video with HBT. We we will just have to wait and see. I think I will do it, but I will not promise anything. So yeah, really, if you liked this video, I hope that you have liked this week. I hope if you have any of these palettes that I have inspired you to do a look. I love to do that. That is like one of the reasons that I'm doing YouTube to inspire you. I think it's so fun. So yeah, that's everything for this video and maybe for this week. <laughs> But yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!